Hey guys, from the Soy Sass Assess, and welcome to another cigar review. So, today we have a cigar that I'm going to review because one of the Shadow Smoke Legion member has asked, like, you know, how is the Arturo Fuente Casa Fuente cigar? Is like, is it worth the money? And it's kind of, uh, but the best way to do it is to revisit it and give him a review so that he can figure out whether or not that is worth his money, right? So, today we're doing there you go. The Casa Fuente Robusto. Right. So let's look at the cigar. Arturo Fuente Casa Fuente Robusto. Five and a quarter by 50. MSRP $25 and change. $25.26. If you look at the, the, the cigar, it, it's kind of bright. It's not very Maduro-like, but it is a Cameroon Maduro wrapper. It's got Dominican filler and Dominican bind. This cigar has been sitting in my humidor for a little bit, so... Excuse to the look. This cigar is provided to me by Bokwai if you have one, Eric. He provided me, he sent one of these to me in the very beginning when he joined uh, the Legion. He's kind of spammed everybody with a cigar and this is one of them. Made it easy for me. I don't have to go find another one. There we go. <sighs> Smell like wood box. And a little bit floral. Yeah, not not crazy. All right. It's like a weird cooking spice mix. You know, one of those instant mix and a little bit floral to it for the cold draw. Ah, ran out. Let's get to another one. This one looks like it's about to run out too. This one looks like the sound. And there it is. All right, let's go. Right away. Very, very pungent. Pungent. Pungent woodsiness and earthiness and mineral. <laughs> and this weird aftertaste that leaves a little bit of salty taste at the end. I would say that taste is very close to a, a, a licorice or something like that. Or a star anise. Pepper. A lot of pepper is going through. It's definitely a medium to full body. And with that said, right now, it's probably a medium plus strength. What is this little thing? This little thing. Toasted nut, pepper, cedar, and this one more note. That's something there. I had to figure it out. It's like a mustiness. 
Okay. Let me smoke one there. I'll be right back. Okay, first there. Toss it off. The first there has, um, you know, as you smoke it, it gets clear and clear of the flavor. It's the uh, like toasted nuts, molasses, in a little bit, creaminess, um, cedar, and a little bit of hay. A little bit of cinnamon and spice, mix of spice. That's what I got. Very good. Very good cigar. I mean, it tastes pretty good. What do you expect? You know, it tastes pretty good. It's got maybe a little bit of saltiness too. Little, little, little cigar. A lot of punch of flavor. A lot of flavor. So that's what I got for first star. Continue. We'll be right back at second third. All right. Second third. No, second third basically it's still a lot of flavor but like the category of flavor drop right it's basically nutmeg there's a little bit of stinkiness <laughs> cinnamon sweetness still nutty and cedar. That's what I got. That's what I got. Still not bad. It's still enjoyable. It's pretty relaxing. Medium. Creeping up medium plus. But it just never gets there. It just never gets there right now. So. And I did double check on the MSRP. I said 25 something dollars. I went, I went back to original MSRP. It was 21. So I want to make sure that everybody knows. That this one original MSRP is only 21. Okay. So in the last third right now, let me show you the band really quick. There you go. Not bad. A lot of gold. A lot of embellishment. A lot of thing. Okay. And the orange kind of match matches this. It. So. So we got. Now I know some people say like you know this is kind of rare. This is not rare. Anywhere. I can. I probably can find it. In majority of places in Miami, so it's not that hard to find. Uh, if you if you Google it, you'll find it. It, it. It's not hard to find. Okay, it's not hard to find. In fact, like yeah, just Google any along, online retailer from Miami, you'll probably be able to find it. It's not hard to find. Okay, just a little bit expensive. Laster, be right back. All right, Laster. I want to say Laster, shrimp creeped up maybe to medium plus ish, almost full but not there. And the flavor is roughly the same minus pepper. There's not much pepper left. Uh, there's still some sweetness, still some cedar, still some baking spice, still some, you know, woodsiness and that combination going on. It's enjoyable. I like it. Now, is it $21 worth? You know, $21 is, I would say, is roughly the more expensive side for this cigar. For something like this size, it is not definitely not 21. But they do sell various other size that makes the price slightly more manageable. But for Robusto, I'm gonna set it somewhere between sixteen to seventeen seventeen dollar. Sixteen to seventeen dollar is what I'm willing to pay for this. It does taste good. It's a lot of flavor. You will be satisfied after one Robusto, double Robusto, and, uh, you know, in other sizes. But, you know, as regular Robusto, it's not a lot. It's not a lot. It smokes relatively fast, about an hour or so that you got to get from this. So, you know, this is where you got to do. Do I want to smoke two cigars at $10 or do I want to buy one of these for like 20 Um, You know, so... Yeah, $16, $17 is roughly where I am for this cigar. Not a bad cigar. I will still smoke it. Uh, it's just not not often because buying at $20 something dollar, uh, you gotta. I had to go into the store thinking that is a store markup in order for me to buy that. So chances are I won't buy it uh, unless it's like part of a sampler pack or something like that to make the price drop down to a manageable price. Okay. But it's still a good cigar. I like it. Okay. So that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, and check out our podcast, check out swag, check out our membership. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.